Would you please remain standing for the national anthem? Please remain standing for the invocation, which will be done by Reverend Dave Buchanan, the Mass Corps Fire Chaplains. Gracious God, we thank you for this gathering, for its purpose, and for each one gathered here. We thank you for the skill, experience, and dedication of all those whose efforts have trained, motivated, and inspired those who graduate today. We thank you for all who have committed their efforts to supporting the mission of this academy. We thank you for all the communities who have sent these men and women to be prepared for service in those same communities to protect life and property of their neighbors. We thank you for family members and loved ones who have missed their firefighters, nursed their aching muscles, and encouraged them in their endeavors to excel. Most of all, we give you thanks for the success and training that you have helped each of these graduates to attain. You have blessed them with strength, endurance, learning, and development of skills. As they are recognized and congratulated by us today, grant them your special blessing. Bless the gathering, its purpose, and each one gathered here. In your holy name we pray. Amen. Please be seated. Again, I'd like to say welcome and thank you for being here uh, and for your patience. I know this was, uh, was scheduled on Monday and that uh, Mother Nature did not wait. So again, to the recruits and to the families and friends and fire chiefs, thank you. Appreciate it. Uh, I'd like to take a moment and uh, introduce our official party that's standing on my left up here on, uh, on the, the, uh, the table up here. Uh, to my direct left is our state fire marshal, Peter Ostrowski. <laughs> Next to him is Chief Fire Warden Dave Salino, who is uh, representing the Massachusetts Fire Training Council as well today. <laughs> You've already met uh, Reverend Buchanan from the Mass State Corps Fire Chaplains. Today's keynote speaker uh, from Lynn Fire, Derek Spitaleri.
Next to him, our coordinator for all recruit programs across the Commonwealth at all three of our campuses and our call ball, uh, Dennis Ball. <laughs> missing one. Next to him, I'm sorry, I'm missing one up here. Uh, next to him is our assistant recruit coordinator. Uh, up here is uh, Jack Gelinas. <laughs> Threw me off. I'm missing Bob Foley today. Um, again, I'd like to take a, a moment to thank a few other people uh, that you see around us. You take a quick look. You'll see the gentleman in the blue. You'll see the gentleman in the white. Uh, and in the, in, in the round today, you notice that we're actually uh, an operating campus uh, still today. But we couldn't do this without our, you know, our crib and support people and our, uh, our instructors. So please give them a round of applause as well. And in the back, that was, you, you uh, met two young ladies that were handing out the programs on the way in. They are assistant program uh, people. You see Christina Dancero and Kyla McKenzie as you came in. Please give them a round. And also, if you hadn't heard yet, we go live. We are actually on Facebook Live. And so some of the people that couldn't be here today, our family and friends that couldn't be with us today, we are, they, we are live on Facebook. So uh, Ms. Christina Mitchell here is uh, the person who makes that happen for us. Thank you, Christina. <laughs> this time, it's my great pleasure to introduce uh, our state fire marshal, Peter Ostrowski. Good morning. No, really, good morning. <laughs> It's, uh, it's my great pleasure and, and uh, distinct honor to welcome you here this morning to our uh, graduation for uh, Class of 78. It's um, really a privilege for me to be able to join you uh, in this celebration, the celebration of their achievement and their uh, commencement and, and as they move on in their careers. So on behalf of the men and women of the Department of Fire Services, welcome. In a special way, I would like to just recognize a few of our teammates as uh, Director Evans uh, mentioned. I have the, the joy every day to come to work with a, a true group of professionals who work hard every day to support the local fire departments across the Commonwealth. That's our mission at the Department of Fire Services through the Fire Academy and through our other functions. Uh, and so we just have a, an awesome team who works really hard uh, every day. And in a special way, I want to recognize our instructor corps, represented by these folks in the white shirts on the, on the left side, of your, your left, uh, against the wall here. Uh, they represent all of our instructors. Uh, they work hard every single day. And I, one of the things that I just want to highlight for you is that all of our instructors, our uh, instructional staff, are all fire service personnel, active or retired, who want to give back to their industry, who want to support brother and sister firefighter through their work here at DFS in the uh, training and drill yard here, in the training that's held across the Commonwealth. Uh, we're just very fortunate to have practitioners who want to share their knowledge, skills, and, uh, and the education and their experience with firefighters uh, as we deal with the variety of things that we deal with. So let's recognize uh, these instructors and all of our instructors one more time this morning. Well, Class 278, you made it. It's been a long haul. Ten weeks ago, and some additional days, you entered these halls as individuals. You entered these halls as recruits. And despite your best efforts, you almost made it past the bad weather. You came together not knowing what to expect, probably not knowing who was in the seat next to you, and with the anticipation of what this is all about. For some, it was your first exposure to the fire service. And for others, you may have had some exposure, but you really didn't know what was going to take place. That's a daunting task in and of itself. 
but we know that over those 10 weeks you've come together as a team, recognizing and understanding the core principles of our profession, but also understanding what it truly means to be a firefighter. You learned your lessons well, and you know that it's so critically important for us to support each other as we go forward every day to meet the challenges that the modern day fire service is called to meet. Before you move on from this day, I just want to give you a couple of reminders. First and foremost, take a deep breath and enjoy this. You've earned it. It's been a long haul. You've performed well and you've accomplished your goal to graduate from recruit class. Know, too, that you have a tremendous amount of support throughout. I remind you to be thankful. This time of year, as we are just past Thanksgiving and heading into the holidays, it's a time that we reflect. We reflect on the past year. You reflect on your past 10 weeks. But remember to be thankful. Be thankful for these family and friends who are here and have been there to support you to get you to, to this point, that have made sacrifices in order for you to attend this, that have filled the gaps while you've been laboring away here in the drill yard, and that will support you going forward. Be thankful for those brother and sister firefighters, that many of whom are here with you today to welcome you back on the job, for these chiefs and the membership abroad that supports you. Sadly, we saw the traditions, the solidarity, and the support of our brother and sister firefighters when we gathered with so many in Worcester with the passing of Lieutenant Jason Menard during your time here at recruit school. But we know that just like they supported you through your efforts here, just like we supported Worcester and the family and the many families of lost firefighters, that we sign on to a second family when we sign on to that application and we will enjoy that support and our families will enjoy that support throughout your career. Be thankful for the commitment of these chiefs, of your training officers, of your brother and sister firefighter to safety and to training because it's the key to our future as we go forward. Be proud. Be proud of the fact that you entered here as Proby and you leave here carrying the title of firefighter. It's a noble calling. It's not something for everyone. But you've obviously made it through recruit school. You've answered the call of your community and of this fire service. And we look forward to you being proud members. Carry that title well. Remember that no matter where you are, whether you're in civilian clothes, your Class A uniform, or turnout gear, people know who you are, a firefighter, somebody they can depend on, and you represent all of us when you're out there. Carry your title well. Be proud. Be prepared. Remember that these 10 weeks have given you a foundation upon which to build that every day must be a training day for us in the fire service. We face new challenges every single day. And the only way for us to be able to accomplish that is to build on that solid foundation that you've received through the efforts of these instructors, through the support of your brothers and sisters in the fire service as you go forward. Remember that old adage, you learn something new every day, isn't just a saying. In our business, it's a responsibility. I congratulate you on your accomplishment. I wish you well. Be safe. Thank you. At this time, I'm going to call upon uh, Chief Salino uh, to come up and present the Outstanding Recruit Award.
Good morning. Richard N. Bangs was the chairman of the Massachusetts Fire Training Council for many years. Upon his retirement, the council voted to name the Outstanding Student Award in his honor. The career recruit training curriculum is designed to train and evaluate students in the basic skills of the firefighting profession. The course is demanding, both physically and academically, and completing it is an accomplishment worthy of recognition. In each class, there's one student selected who has excelled in the training program, and this student is named as the outstanding student of the class. This award is based upon the student's total academic and practical skills, testing, and evaluations. So at this time, I'd like to invite Chief Tim Sheehy of Methuen Fire Department to join us on stage. Okay, so I'm pleased to present the Richard N. Bangs Award to the Outstanding Student of Recruit Class 278 to Christopher Troy of the Methuen Fire Department. So if you've been to few, some of these, you know that um, it's pretty structured. My, my administrative assistant takes very good care of us. And uh, I was talking actually with uh, Mr. Ball this morning about how we change it up a little bit. And he said, you know, we have Mr. Spitaleri who's going to speak in a little bit to you. But it would be pretty nice if we have the, you know, the, the winner of the Bangs Award come up and say a few words. So, Mr. Troy. I'm just going to keep this short. Uh, it's an honor. I made a lot of good friends. And thanks for everybody for coming out. <laughs> well done. Short. Well done. All right, so at this time, it's, it's my honor and privilege to call up uh, Mr. Spitaleri, who is actually um, one of mine. He is uh, one of my instructors here. Uh, he's also been, uh, a, he's a veteran of the Lynn Fire Department, 20 years, I believe. Uh, also a, a paramedic for them. Uh, so we, we, every time we do this, we ask somebody in the service to come up and, and address our recruits. And, it's, and it's, it's easy for me when somebody from, you know, from one of mine um, volun is voluntold. To come. No, just kidding. Mr. Spitaleri. <laughs> Thank you. Good morning. First, let me say it's a humbling honor to stand here today. It did not come to fruition without trepidation. When Mr. Ball asked me to be the guest speaker for Class 278, I immediately thought, me? You want me to speak? I didn't give an answer to Mr. Ball right away. Yet here I am. You're stuck with me for at least the next three minutes. Because sometimes we don't get to choose. Sometimes life chooses for us. Life chose for me to be a firefighter. When we go to work, we don't get to choose building fires or motor vehicle entrapments, rescues over ladders, hazmat incidents, or any other unfortunate life-threatening circumstance. They choose us. Just as the citizens in our respective cities and towns choose us to keep them safe, to rescue them from the ravages of fire, and protect them from danger, whatever it may be. What we must choose is to be prepared Expect fire always. Be well trained and stay in good physical condition. This is no regular job. Make no mistake here. Being a firefighter is a profession steeped in rich history and traditions that reach back to the beginnings of this great country. Educate yourselves in the history and traditions of your own department along with the entire fire service. I emphasize pro in the term professional. To be a pro you must practice and train 
Hone your skills. Challenge yourself to advancement always. You owe that to your brother and sister firefighter who is trusting you to crawl down that hot, smoky, acrid hallway with you. You owe it to your families who have supported you as you embark on this inherently dangerous career. Remember what I've told you during your time here. We are all students of our profession. Get involved in your union local. Stay up, show up to your local's monthly meetings. Be informed. Volunteer for the MDA, fill the boot drive, charity golf tournament, family day, or whatever it is that your union local takes up for the betterment and welfare of your brothers, sisters, families, and community. Being chosen to serve your respective communities as a career firefighter is a privilege, not a right. Remember that every day of your career. Lead by example. Wear your uniform with pride and honor. All of my accomplishments as a firefighter in the city of Lynn, I owe in part to my brothers I work alongside every day. None of it would ever be possible without them mentoring me, trusting me, having my back, and allowing me to be part of the mission, trying to make our city and the world a better, safer place for us being there. For that, I am grateful and duty-bound to do the same. I implore you to immerse yourself in the art of firefighting and make a positive impact on our noble cause. Keep your gear and your tools clean and in good work and order. Always be first. First to show up for work. First to clean up after meals. First to answer the phone and the firehouse door. First on the rig for an alarm. These simple habits will pay endless dividends during your career. Do this job with passion, integrity, and respect. Respect for yourselves, this profession, your community, and your brother and sister firefighters, especially those that paved the way before you and others who made the ultimate sacrifice. In the words of General George S. Patton, do it with self-confidence born of demonstrated ability. Leave your department better than you found it, be good to each other, be good to your families, and be safe. Thank you and congratulations, Class 278. At this time, I'm actually going to start the proceedings off uh, by calling up uh, Assistant Recruit Director uh, Jack Gelinas to present the diplomas to our recruits. Family and friends, please come up and take photos. Enjoy the day. Actually, before we do that, I'd like to ask all the veterans in the class to stand up. All the veterans in the building, please stand up and be recognized. Thank you for your service. Thank you for your sacrifice. from Canton, Fire Chief Charles Duty. And assisting in this presentation, Canton Police Officer Sean Becker, who is the brother of graduating firefighter Jason Becker. Graduating firefighter Michael Duty. <laughs> Michael is the son of Chief Duty, a fourth generation firefighter. And assisting in the next presentation, Canton firefighter Brian Prendergast, who is the brother graduating firefighter Daniel Prendergast. of East Bridgewater, Fire Chief Timothy Harron,
graduating firefighter Michael Dickinson. Graduating firefighter James McFarlane. <laughs> A Falmouth Fire Chief Michael Small. Graduating firefighter Andrew Torrenzio. <laughs> of Fitchburg, Fire Chief Kevin Roy. And assisting in this presentation, a Marlboro firefighter, Peter Joyer, retired, <laughs> who is the uncle, graduating firefighter, John Viola. Of Lawrence, Fire Chief Brian Moriarty. Graduating firefighter Edwin Cruz. Graduating firefighter William Kilgo. Graduating firefighter Juan Maldonado, Jr. <laughs> Senior. And assisting in the next presentation, Lawrence Fire Lieutenant Joe Murphy, who is the father, graduating firefighter Jarrett Thomas Cameron. Of Lexington, Fire Chief Derek Sensabaugh. Graduating firefighter Maximilian Keith. Graduating firefighter James Mello. Graduating firefighter Timothy Stahl. <laughs> of 
of Littleton, the Fire Chief Scott Wodzinski. <laughs> Graduating Firefighter Joseph Reeder. Of Lynn, a fire chief Stephen Archer. <laughs> well, the first of two brothers, graduating firefighter Patrick Carrit. And the next brother, graduating firefighter Ryan Carrit. Graduating firefighter Thomas Carter. Graduating firefighter Mark Churchill. Graduating firefighter Kyle Emmons. <laughs> Graduating firefighter Mark Moyes. And assisting in the next presentation, Lynn Firefighter Ray Richard, retired. <laughs> Who's the father of graduating firefighter Andrew Richard? Graduating firefighter Joseph Russell. <laughs> Graduating firefighter Saraxi Seng. And of Medway, a Fire Chief Jeffrey Lynch. <laughs> and assisting in these presentations, Medway Deputy Fire Chief Michael Vesalino. <laughs> Deputy Vesalino is the cousin of graduating firefighter Timothy Benoit.
Graduating firefighter Sean Foster. Graduating firefighter Jack Lennon. Of Methuen, Fire Chief Tim Sheehy. And assisting in this presentation, Bill Rick, a fire chief, Robert Cole. Who is the father of graduating firefighter Robert Cole? Graduating firefighter Christopher Troy. Of Plymouth, the fire chief Edward Bradley. Graduating firefighter Jason Dumphy. Of Truro, Fire Chief Timothy Collins. Graduating firefighter Robert Westcott. Of Wayland, Fire Chief Neil McPherson. Graduating firefighter John Banelowitz. Of Winchester, Fire Chief Rick Tustin. Graduating firefighter Taylor Boletto. Recruit class two seven eight. This time, I'd like to call up class spokesman John Viola. Good morning. All right. Well, first, I'd like to give congratulations to class 278. You guys did it. So, 
These past 50 days have been challenging. You guys have run up endless flights of floors in the tower building and performed countless numbers of burpees. You have spent hours upon hours in your bunker gear training. You have sat through thousands of slides and you've studied a lot. <clears throat> You met and exceeded the standards set forth by the Massachusetts Firefighting Academy, and here you sit today, the graduating class. We as a class would like to thank the state fire marshal, as well as every member here on stage for everything they do. Uh, we would like to thank the Massachusetts Firefighting Academy and everyone associated with it, from Mr. Ball to the people upstairs, the instructors and support staff, and everyone else behind the scenes. Uh, we would like to thank our respectful cities and towns. We would like to thank our chiefs, officers, and fellow firefighters. Uh, most importantly, we would like to say thank you to our wives, you <laughs> girlfriends, spouses, friends, and family for sticking by us these past 10 weeks. And we would like to thank everybody here today. Uh, we leave here certified firefighters but we must remember our training never ends. We must train every day and continue to learn our craft. We must obey the orders from our supervisors, officers, and if so, like Lieutenant Menard, we must be ready to carry out the ultimate sacrifice. So Class 278 would like to dedicate our plaque in honor of Lieutenant Menard and the Worcester Fire Department to the Massachusetts Fire Academy. Uh, Churchill, Pat, you guys want to come up? Thank you, everybody. <laughs> yep, you want to call up the instructors. Can I get the instructors to come up next to the plaque, please? The class? Instructors, please. Yes. Sit right over here. Yep. I don't know. Put it right up in the front. See, I'm not touching it. Time I ask you to stand for the benediction. Most gracious God, we prepare to depart, to celebrate, but also to serve. May the increase of skills and knowledge increase for these new firefighters and for those who will serve with them and lead them. May each one remain steadfast in service to you through service to neighbors and families. We invoke your ancient blessing at this time on all these new firefighters and their families. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious to you. May the Lord lift up his countenance over you and give you peace. Amen. Ladies and gentlemen, this concludes our, uh, today's ceremony. On behalf of State Fire Marshal Peter Ostrowski and the men and women of the Department of Fire Services, I'd like to thank you for joining us on this very special occasion. We wish each member of Class 278 only the best in their careers. Please be safe. I ask that you remain standing for the departure of the official party, followed by the chiefs of the department, and the class will be let out by the instructors.
Class 278.